And finally, you can customize your shortcuts. Really important, uh, again, going back to work environment. So our tip of the week is taking a look at how to customize the shortcuts. So first, we wanna go again to our options menu, go down to work environment, select work environment, and this dialog will come up. Uh, at this point, as I mentioned a second ago, if you wanna, if you wanna open up the shortcuts to see the shortcuts in the browser, you just go down here to keyboard shortcuts, and you'll see a little button over here that shows that for you. If you wanna customize your shortcuts, then what you wanna do is also go down to keyboard shortcuts. There's that button. But now we're gonna talk about customizing, and that's what <clears throat> our options are up here. When you click the keyboard shortcuts, first thing you're gonna see is a list over here of all the different commands and how they're currently set up. Uh, it'll show up by menu structure, as a default uh, here, but of course I could change that to show up by other options as well. If, for example, I wanted to add a uh, keyboard sh shortcut for stretch, uh, which currently does not have one, um, in the old days, um, since I've been around for again for a while, um, there used to be a shortcut there for stretch, but now they've actually enabled it, so you don't even need to um, uh, really do anything, you just click on the edge of an element, it'll start to stretch, or if you put a marquee down, just click on any element, and it'll start to stretch as well. So I think that's why they, since there's so many shortcuts in ARCHICAD now, um, they've tried to you know, uh, reduce them down. But if I wanted to add one to this, I could click stretch. Uh, I could go to um, this option right here and type in what I want, okay? and it's currently not assigned to any command. If it was assigned to something, so if I put Control and I put H, and what, so what you wanna do is you wanna press Control and H on your computer, on your keyboard. When you press those two keys, Control with H, this will appear. And it will show if it's not assigned, or it will show if it is assigned. If it's not assigned, you're good to go. Then, of course, you also need to store your shortcuts, really important. If you don't do this, then it's not gonna remember it next time you um, uh, go into your work environment profiles and select the standard profiles. That's gonna reset everything back to the original out of the box settings, and it will then override what you just did. The way that you maintain that for the future is once you've done going through your keyboard shortcuts, you click the store as button, it will come up with a little uh, dialog option asking you to name it. Just type in my standard shortcuts, go store. And then finally, you want to also store your profile so that when you launch your ARCHICAD session and you want to go and uh, you know have it set up for not only, maybe not, not only your shortcuts, but you could also set it for how you want your screen to look. So maybe you don't want your, as a good example, maybe you don't want the navigator that has your project map and your uh, view, uh, save views and your um, layout book, et cetera. Maybe you don't want that on the right side of your screen. I know some clients who like to have that on the left side of the screen right next to their tools. So if you drag that over there, what you can do and dock it, again, you also need to update your, um, your profile here as well uh, for all that, for your workspace. So this is the way you do that for any one of these, these options, okay? Once you've edited any of these uh, options, the user pro, pro preference schemes, your company standard schemes, your shortcut schemes, your tool schemes, workspace that I just mentioned as well, et cetera. Once you've edited any one of those, you want to then store in each one of these your own profile, okay? Then when you, at the uh, once you've done each one of those, you then create your top level work environment profile, which will then use custom ones that you've set here, okay? So when I go okay, you'll notice that if I look over here now, my user preference scheme has my profile. Uh, shortcuts using the standard, but that could have also been my profile. Um, tool schemes, my profile workspace. So in other words, you've now established that you have several of these different categories that you that are now following your specific settings. And one important aspect of that as well is that you can always import and export these settings as well. So if you now get RCAD 25, 
and you want to use these same profiles, uh, just export those and then import that back into uh, the Archiget 25 settings. To activate uh, these profiles, what you want to do is to then select your profile when you first start up. Uh, Archicad is one option. So when you're creating a new project, well, uh, you can basically go down to Work Environment Profiles, and rather and you can see a little see that little uh, um, check mark there. That means currently it's using the uh, standard the Archicad architecture profile that comes with Archicad. But I can go down to my profile. Okay, and now it'll reset Archicad to using my shortcuts, uh, my work environment, etc. Or if you're already in a project and you forgot to do that, you and you want to switch to a different profile, you go to your options menu, you go down to work environment, and go apply profile, and then select the profile you want. So even if you aren't using your own profile, you want it as an example to switch to the MEP engineering profile. We have a lot of clients who do this now because. MEP is now uh, included with Archicad for free, uh, and that's a great thing with Archicad 24 now. So if you wanted to use the MEP tool, and you want to now be able to draw ducts, uh, draw pipes, um, and draw electrical uh, conduit uh, uh, cable trays, then you would go and select the MEP engineering basic profile, and it would set that to uh, reset the work environment for you. In fact, the MEP, it would uh, now turn on uh, the MEP tools, which are not turned on by default, and also reset your work environment as well. Okay, 